in this tutorial I will actually demonstrate uh, creating EGP applications with uh, for PR web logic and we will use the PR web logic workspace for the purpose so I can just show you the sample application that we will develop just there will be a button and a text box to collect your name click on invoke EJB so in this EJB it is returning your name whatever you type there so this will be the sample application actually in this uh, tutorial we will develop an entity bin also a session bin and it will be de deployed under via web logic so what this application really involves that we see the visit bin this is the entity bin that keeps track of the number of visit to this page and visit tracker bin this is really a session bin um, that creates the user with his name with his or her name and also checks with visit pin checks with the entity pin the number of visits and this visit web test it's a project is another project within it we create a base flow that is a client for visit pin and visit tracker pin and in visit web test we have a another EJB control visit tracker bin control actually it is the base flows mean or way to call to visit tracker bin session bin mm, what is the focus of this tutorial I think in this tutorial you see that uh, will demonstrate how to create a web logic EAR project and web logic EJB project and web logic web project this one so we are creating three types of EJB projects ER project EJB project and web test and we will be creating two types of bin entity bin and session bin also we will demonstrate how to use annotations to speed up EJB development. Also, we will demonstrate how to use EJB control uh, to speed up client development. And also, we will be using this web project to test an EJB application now what are the steps to create this application first we will create the workspace where the development will go on then we will create the entity bin and afterwards we will be creating the session bin and after that we will be creating a server and start a server to run this application creating means just associate a server for this uh, application and we will start that server in our case it is the web logic server and after that we will create a test project so that we can test the EJBs and at last step we will show uh, how we test the EJB application so initially we will be creating the EJB web logic EAR project for that purpose you will just have to open and workspace for that purpose so this is another workspace where we will create the all the steps 
so first file new we're going to create EJB ER project okay I think I can attach my mouse just a second okay it's file new project j2ee enterprise application project and next project name I think I can keep the name similar to this and then next I think this should be cool enough the selection So just this EAR project will be created. So the steps is very simple. File project, then J2E ER project, and then next you can keep the project name and keep the selections default. So that will be good enough. So our first step is done. We have created the EAR project now we will be creating the EJP project that will contain both of the session bin and entity bin first new project so this EJP web logic EJP project next asking for a name so I am giving the exact same name and add project to an EAR project and I'm selecting the ER project we just have created and everything looks fine so we are also selecting the annotation so that it provides uh, faster development the next finish that should be it for okay at this point we will be actually creating a an entity bin under the BGT SAP project but what are the steps okay first we'll create the entity bin then we will set some annotation values for that entity bin and then we will define some container managed persistence variables after that for the entity bin we will be creating rewriting the EJP create and EJP post create two methods so first expand it SRC right click new web logic entity bin and file name it's actually visit bin so src oh sorry actually it's better to go in the same way like the others we can actually create a package like hello as it is and then we can create the entity bin it's the visit bin So the default entity pin will be there. I think we'll be going to change some annotation values. So we see here we keep it as it is, is a b name as it is. I think P 
cream class we are just changing it to be a string so we are setting the annotation in the next way we'll be adding some container managed persistence fields so we're just copying from here so these are the two of them I think one is the visitor name and another the visit number these are the two CMP field so for all of them we just have to define both the get method and set method for this visitor name we see that get visitor name set visitor name visit number get visit number set visit number so we just have to create these two CMP variable I think they will be storing the data we want to track okay, and this is for key set key I think we don't need this and get key and set key I can rather remove them will not be handling the key okay this should be good enough so we have created two of the CMP field now we will be creating the EJP create and EJP post create method actually originally if we see is using integer but we already changed the notation that it should be a string for the key type so this is the EJB create and this is the EJB post create we can just replace it from here to there it is also here integer it should be really a string because we change it and we're tracking two parameter just visitor name actually visitor name and number number will be here at the time of creation it's one and the session bin is actually greeting the user using his name okay and that's about creating the entity bin now we will go to the step of creating the session bin actually some more information I can share with is uh, this EJB create it is will create uh, it will be called when a new visit pin is created and at the time of creation it stores the visitor name and visit number to the data source and here we see that the data source is mentioned as the CG data source and this CMP values container management values this visitor name and visit number these are associated with that CG data source and they are just uh, treated as columns in the data source so okay let's go to okay let's uh, create the session bin so package new 
session bin so we can use the same name here so this is the session bin and we have to I think there will be some extra packages that will be required for our purpose so I'm just copying all of them sorry this is not the one this is the one okay just all the packages will require for this and before this annotation we just want to create a reference to the entity bin because this session bin will be using that so this is a reference to the entity bin that this session bin will be using so just the naming directory name the local name of the entity bin and the exactly exact name of the entity bin and it is type that it's a entity bin type not a session bin type but an entity bin type so we need to create one more variable that will keep track the instance for a particular user so that thing is actually okay from here this is the one in the class we have to create it and just it will keep track of the instance of a particular visitor and after that we have to create the ejb create to return the entity bin instance so this is the ejb create method I can just remove the existing EGB create method so we're just creating a visit bin instance entity bin instance and okay I just creating it and after that we will create another method that will for the creating purpose of the user and displaying his count of visiting so this is the create visitor method So it's trying to find the visitor in the database if the visitor is not in the database you are just uh, creating one instance of the with the visitors name and then just creating with his name but when it's a re returning visitor you're just uh, trying to get return this visit number I think in the entity bin we defined these methods this get visit number and those kind of stuffs so we are just greeting with his name hello again your name and then the number of visit and we want to define it as a remote method so
Okay, I'm just adding add annotation. So it should be coming here, not the EJB create. I think it came here. It should be really create. Okay, so we are assigning it to be a remote method. I think that should be it for the session bin. So we are just importing some classes that will be required. Then we are creating a reference to the entity bin that this session bin will make use of. And we are setting some parameter. It is the naming directory name of the bin and these are some name and that entity. Afterwards, we just created this variable to keep track of the instance of a particular visitor, a visitor with the same name. And this is a create, it just creates a entity bin instance, I think visit bin instance. And this get visitor, it just, for the new user, it just gets with the name for returning users, it just creates with the name and number of visit. So we are done with session bin creation. Okay, now we'll be creating and associating a server to run this project. So here servers. Mm -hmm. Okay, these servers. New server. That's okay. Via web logic. Everything looks okay. So, this is our project. Okay, this is the domain name. This is the path of the application to the default to the workshop. Next. I think this should be good enough. If you want to restart it's already started because of this window. So we can restart it like this. So now we can go to create this web project and the corresponding client and test in the meantime. Let it start. So it's now started. Let's just create the web project file new project web dynamic web project name. We can keep the name of this at project to an EAR. We're adding this module to the EAR next. I think the default selections are good enough. And we can assign the just now created server for this. So this is a server we created to run the application in our previous step. So we are just using it here. So this is done. Now we have to create the controller okay, control. So let's go to the next step. 
okay at this point we will write test source code and test the EJB it will be done in three steps add an EJB control to the test project so just to go with this we have to create an EJB control to the test project I think we told previously that we'll be using a page flow so from here we are creating a package I think it is as named as controls so under control